Besides the national pavilions, the Urban Best Practices area is one of the major attractions at the Shanghai World Expo. Visitors to the area should not miss the exhibition on Malmo's Best Practices experience. It started with um, developing a sustainable city, a sustainable part of the city. We did that in the early well, 2001, it was finished, which was quite early for having this kind of very holistic view. So it's got a lot of international level. Attention. It is a very successful project in Malmo, of course, but also actually in Europe and in the world. Located in Malmo, south of Sweden, the Western Harbour has been a pride of the country for its chic and sustainable living environment. Here is where residents and companies live side by side, and cycling and walking are the preferred modes of transport. It's a mixture. It's a residential area where people live. We have different kind of buildings. There are apartments and small houses mixed. There are small companies coming in. It's getting very popular among enterprises to move to this area because it's been so attractive lately. What's very special about it is that it's, it's a sustainability approach, which is a very holistic approach that we really de develop the whole area in all kinds of different sectors for transportation, for green areas in the, in the Western Harbour. For energy, it's 100% locally produced renewable energy in the whole area, which means it's very climate smart. We did it for how you do with the waste, uh, the eco-cycle for the contaminated earth and so on. So we took the whole approach to try to create a completely sustainable uh, part of the city. The Western Harbour boasted of the shipping industry for more than a century before its collapse in the 1980s. City leaders then lured in car makers Saab and eventually General Motors to maintain the district as an industrial site, but none of them stayed for long. With the industries closing down, Melmo went into crisis. Political leadership decided we're at the bottom of the barrel, as we would say. We have to be visionary, we have to think in new ways about how we're going to define our city. And it's been very important for Malmö to see how can a former industrial city transform to a sustainable city. How can we take a brown field and turn it into a green neighborhood. We didn't just focus on the buildings, we didn't just focus on the greenery, we didn't just focus on the energy. We looked at those things together with the waste management and the transport and the dialogue. It should be a place that people really want to be in. It should be a place that we sit down at a table and we enjoy taking a cup of coffee or going for a swim. And it should be a place to work with new types of strategies that once you try them out are really not that difficult, but they have to be tried somewhere. It's also uh, very attractive. A lot of diversity in building styles, a lot of architects were involved in the neighborhood. It is also built very tightly to the point where it's hard to drive. It's much more friendly when you walk around or when you bicycle or even when you come in by boat. And it's also very green. Green not only in terms of environmental issues, but also physically green. We have a lot of green roofs in the area. We have what we call green walls, plants that are growing on the side of the walls. We have uh, open stormwater management to manage our rainwater and using that as part of the biodiversity in the area. The success of the Western Harbour has been brought to the World Expo. Here visitors can learn about Malmo's experience in making its city more livable and sustainable. We feel very strongly about sustainability as, as a necessity for the world, actually, for the global world. So we wanted to talk about sustainability in Shanghai. So it was easy for us to choose the example of Western Harbour. So we tried to reenact parts of the Western Harbour, what we've done in the area. We have a big city model where we explain a lot about the sustainability measurements we've done. We have the place where we're sitting now, which is sort of a nice, relaxing place, just like the Western Harbour is actually. It's a place where you can just hang around and sit down for a while. So for our way, uh, one vision was to, to build a different kind of city, to actually place much more focus on knowledge-based companies, smaller companies, a lot in the computer, new media, education, learning. We have a new university based in our town as well, which will be really important if you talk about changing the town. We also talk a bit about the future here, what we want to do next, so what are our next objects and so on. So basically in Shanghai, just to tell people what we have done, we are happy to receive them if they want to come to Malmö and see if for real. We are also hoping, of course, it will improve trade and tourism and make Malmö look like an attractive city. Malmö is one of the selected few cities around the world that showcase their best urban planning and developments at the Expo. We will bring you more sustainable practices from other cities in the next 